Hi, I'm Shoshana Bean. I'm currently starring as Jenna in Waitress, and this is my Broadway bucket list. Jason Robert Brown being one of my all-time favorite composers, and this score, in my opinion, being one of his most glorious, uh, and this song in particular, uh, Francesca is a beautiful role with a ton of depth and, and complexity and vulnerability. And uh, this song sort of summing up the, uh, the concept of, of always choosing love, no matter what the situation or the challenge or the heartbreak, um, and that choice always being the better one. could have driven into someone else's driveway You could have tried to find the bridge another day I could have gone off to the fair Or locked the door or washed my hair And in a way that would be better We could have chosen to ignore what we were feeling We could have prayed to make the wanting go away But what we did Is that we loved And love is always better I've seen a world like none I'd ever known I could have tied my dreams to yours And slept beside you on the moors And who can say that might be better I could have not been where my children turned for answers And never seen what they've become now that grown but what I did is that I loved and love is always better it is hard it is insane to place one love above another but what a choice Into the Woods has always held a very special place in my heart. I was cast as Little Red uh, when I was in junior high, uh, going into high school, and I chose to be on the drill team in my high school instead of doing Little Red. And I think somewhere deep in my heart, I knew I'm gonna go on and do this and have many more opportunities. Never have gotten to do Into the Woods, uh, but this, this score has always been like my Bible. When I was young, I had the lyrics plastered all over my walls. It seems that whatever your question, the answer lies somewhere in the lyrics of Into the Woods. What was that? Was that me? Was that him? Did a prince really kiss me? And kiss me? And kiss me? And did I kiss him back? Was 
it wrong? Am I mad? Is that all? Does he miss me? Was he suddenly getting bored with me? Wake up! Stop dreaming, stop prancing about the woods. It's not deceiving. What is it about the woods? Oh, back to life, back to sense, back to child, back to husband. You can't live in the woods. There are vows, there are ties, there are needs, there are standards, there are shouldn'ts and shoulds. Why not both instead? There's the answer if you're clever. Have a child for birth, and a baker for bread, and a prince for whatever. Never, it's these woods. <laughs> Face the facts, find the boy, join the group, stop the giant, just get out of these woods. Was that him? Yes, it was. Was that me? No, it wasn't just a trick of the woods. Just a moment, one peculiar passing moment. Must it all be either less or more, either plain or grand? Is it always or? Is it never and? That's what woods are for, for those moments in the woods. Oh, if life were made of moments, even now and then a bad one. But if life were made of moments, then you'd never know you had one. First a witch, then a child, then a prince, then a moment who can live in the woods. And to get what you wish, only just for a moment, these are dangerous ones. Let the moment go. Don't forget it for a moment, though. Just remembering you've had an end when you're back to or makes the or mean more than it did before. Now I understand, and it's time to leave the woods. This show and this score and this woman um, f have, have been with me since I was very, very young, and, and probably, you know, for, for many lifetimes. She is so familiar. She is so deeply ingrained in my DNA. Um, it's my all-time favorite musical and my all-time favorite role. Nobody knows. 